Hi, Kubrick Glover1972 back with another video. Uh, part 31, I think we're at. Um, and this one, as I said before, would be the Twilight Zone. So this one will take up a whole video. Um, it, it might take a while to get through all of this. Um, I, I I don't know if I'll, I'll if I'll like um, talk about every single episode because there's so many of them. But um, so, anyways, well, let me show you the, the box set first. This is a DVD, complete definitive ed edition of the Twilight Zone. Um, anyways, let me read the read, read the side for you. For the first time ever, find all 156 complete episodes of Rod Serling's groundbreaking series in one box set, packed with, packed with exciting extras. Travel to another dimension of sight and sound again and again through these stunning remastered high-definition film transfers using the original camera negatives and magnetic soundtracks. So you, see, you have seasons one through five, and then you got special features, excerpts from Rod Serling's audio lectures at Sherwood Oaks Experimental College. You got audio commentaries by Martin, Martin Landau, Don Rickles, Cliff Robertson, Jonathan Winters, Shelley Berman, Bill Mummy, Leonard Nimoy, Mickey Rooney, Marriott Hartley, and more. Video interviews with Richard Matheson, George Clayton John Johnson, Earl Hammer Jr., and more. Vintage audio recollections with Buck Houghton, Buzz Kulik, Douglas Hayes, Lamont Johnson, Burgess Meredith, and more. Isolated music scores featuring the legendary Bernard Herrmann, Jerry Goldsmith, Fred Steiner, and more. Rod Serling's promos for next week's show. Rare Rod Serling appearances, The Liars Club, The Mike Wallace Interview, The Gary Moore Show, Tell to Groucho, The Jack Benny, Jack Benny Show, and more. Highlights from the Museum of Television and Radio Seminar, and much more. So, as you can see, uh, season one, season two, season three, season four, season five. Um, and then there's a um, picture of Rod Serling right there. Um, what I have to say about Rod Serling is that he was a uh, great writer. Um, uh, not just a great writer, I think he was a great human being. He was a very caring um, person. Um, um, before before he worked on Twilight Zone, he, he worked he worked on um, was it Playhouse ninety or one of those live television shows that took place at the start at the dawn of television. I don't know if those that the late forties or maybe it was the early fifties or mid fifties. Um, he wanted to make. A, uh, a drama about racism in the South um, and the the Southern that Southern syndicate channels at that time period. This is before the Civil Rights Movement. Um, they wouldn't allow him to. Well, it was frowned upon. So the executives, it's um, I don't know what network it was. It was NBC or CBS or ABC. Um, they had the story changed to a Mexican village, and but I mean he he was kind of he didn't like that that much I don't think and um, anyways um, but he he was a very caring man um, and he believed in in justice you know he he believed you know that pe people should um, pe people should treat each other well and and. Um, that there was consequences for your actions if you acted like, if, if you acted to the detriment of others, if, 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 if that makes sense, if that makes sense to 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 you. Um, I'm I'm just saying, Ron Sterling was a great guy, you know, a nice guy, um, just just a really down to earth, um, loved everybody, you know. Well, except maybe, you know, tyrants or I, I don't know, just. Um, uh, well, let, let, let me get into this this um, the box set here. So, first off, you have season one. 
Um, don't know if I should read all of these. I'll just read the titles. Where is everybody? One for the Angels. Mr. Denton on Doomsday. The 16 millimeter Shrine. Walking Distance. Escape Clause. The Lonely. Time Enough at Last. Perchance to Dream. Judgment Night. And When the Sky Was Opened. What You Need. The Four of Us Are Dying. Third from the Sun. I Shot an Arrow into the Air. The Hitchhiker. The Fever. The Last Flight. The Purple Testament. Elegy. Mirror Image. The monsters are due out due on Maple Street. A world of difference. Long live Walter Jameson. People are like all over. Execution. The big tall wish. A nice place to visit. Nightmare as a child. A stop at Willoughby. The chaser. A passage for trumpet. Mister Beavis. The after hours. The mighty Casey. World of his own. A lot of those shows, I, I love. Um, I mean, this is just the first season, and I, s some of those titles just jump out at me, and I, I know what those title those um, shows are about. Um, this this particular uh, television um, show is my favorite of all time. Um, you know, there there are, there are other shows I like a lot. Um, you know, like Seinfeld, The Simpsons. Um, you know, Breaking Bad's good and Mad Men is good, but if I had to pick the number one, it's going to be this one. So, anyways, here, here's the. There's just too much to talk about. I, 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 it would take forever to. It would probably go over even an hour if I. Uh, if I uh, talked about all this, it would. It'd be just too much, you know. Um, let me, let me, as I'm showing you this, I'll give you some, uh, anecdotes or what have you. Um, he was a smoker, um, um, Rod Serling, and he would do advertisements for maybe, I think Lucky Strike was an actual cigarette at one time. Um, but he would do ads for them on, on the show. Um, after the Twilight Zone, he, um... He, he he went on to work on other things. He worked on he wrote the, the screenplay for Planet Planet of the Apes. Um, he worked on a show called Night Gallery. Night Gallery is a significant show as well because Steven Spielberg uh, worked there at the age of nineteen or twenty on one of the episodes, directing Joan Crawford. Um, also, incidentally, this is veering away. This is trailing off a bit but just just to mention this speaking of steven spielberg he also directed episodes of colombo at that age before he directed you know duel for a television movie and um, then you know sugarland express and then jaws so there's this is season two and you you really I think basically seasons one, two, three, and five are good. Uh, season season four, nah, I think it's because it's too long, and, and I and that's why they went back to the half hour format for season five. Um, but anyways, let, let's I'll list these off. Uh, King Nine will not return. The Man on the Bottle. Nervous Man in a Four Dollar Room. A Thing About Machines, The Howling Man, Eye of the Beholder, Nick of Time, The Lateness of the Hour, The Trouble of Templeton, A Most Unusual Camera, Night of the Meek, Dust, Back There, The Wall Truth, The Invaders, A Penny for Your Thoughts, 22, The Odyssey of Flight 33, Dr. Dingle, The Strong, Static, The Prime Mover, Long Distance Call, A Hundred Yards Over the Rim, the Rip Van Winkle Caper, The Silence, Shadow Play, The Mind and the Matter, Will the Real Martian Please Stand Up, The Obsolete Man. So, you know, he, he speaking of Martians, like, uh, he had some science fiction episodes, you know, with flying saucers and aliens. Um, he had one, well, I don't know. If, if I, I don't know where to begin and where to end. It would take forever to talk about all these 
these episodes. Um, anyways, let me get to season three here. Two, the arrival, the shelter, the passerby, a game of pool, the mirror, the grave, it's a good life. Death's Head Revisited, Midnight Sun, Still Valley, The Jungle, Once Upon a Time, Five Characters in Search of an Exit, Equality and Mercy, Nothing in the Dark, One Man's One More Pallbearer, Dead Man Shoes, The Hunt, Showdown with Rance McGrew, Kick the Can, A Piano in the House, The Last Rites of Jeff Myrtlebank, To Serve Man, The Fugitive, Little Girl Lost, Person or Persons Unknown, The Little People, Four O'Clock, Hocus Pocus and Frisbee, The Trade-Ins, The Gift, The Dummy, Young Man's Fancy, I Sing the Body Electric, Cavender is Coming, The Changing of the Guard. So, and they they did change this, the, um, each season, the, the credit, you know, the start, the, 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 the beginning the intro part, you know, um, they change that uh, a little bit each each uh, season. Um, Twilight Zone was shown on uh, CBS. The, um, right, you know, one of one of the people that debuted. Uh, in show business on the Twilight Zone was Robert Redford. Maybe it was his first uh, um, exposure. But I'm not quite sure. But it was one of his early appearances. That I know. Fourth season, In His Image, The 30 Fathom Grave, Volley of the Shadow, He's Alive, Mute, Death Ship, Jesse Bell, Miniature, Printer's of Devil, no Time Like the Past, The Parallel, I Dream of Jeannie, New Exhibit, Of Late I Think of Cliffordville, The Incredible World of Horace Ford, On Thursday We Leave for Home, Passage on the Lady Anne, The Bard. So, you know, like, as I'm reading these titles of these episodes, I, I'm trying to, I, I don't know if I, if I just name, if I just talk about one of them, I feel inclined to talk about the rest of them. I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm going to decide whether I'm going to talk about a few of them after I list off the titles. I just got season five to just list off the titles, and then then we'll see um, where this video will go. But anyways, this is season five. This is probably the worst season of the Twilight Zone because the reason being it's um, it was um, hour long shows, not technically an hour, and the other seasons were not technically half an hour because you had the commercials. So they were more like 20 minutes or or 45 minutes, you know, so, or 20, maybe it was 24 minutes. But they weren't total, they weren't half an hour exactly, um, but close, somewhat close. Season five, In Praise of Pip, Steel, Nightmare at 20,000 Feet, A Kind of Stopwatch, the Last Night of a Jockey, Living Doll, The Old Man in the Cave, Uncle Simon, Probe, Seven, Over and Out. The Seventh is Made Up of Phantoms, A Short Drink from a Certain Fountain, Ninety Years Without Slumbering, Ring-a-Ding Girl, You, dr you Drive, The Long Morrow, The Self-Improvement of Salvador Ross, Number Twelve just, just looks, looks Just Like You, Black Leather Jackets, Night Call, From Agnes with Love, Spur of the Moment, An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge, Queen of the Nile, What's in the Box, The Masks, I Am the Night, Color Me Black, Sounds and Silences, Caesar and Me, The Jeopardy Room, Stop Over in a Quiet Town, The Encounter, Mr. Garrity and the Graves, The Brain Center at Whipples, Come Wander with Me, The Fear, The Bewitching Pool. So, you know, um... Anyways, those are all the episodes. I don't know if that bored you. Um, I was just trying to rattle them off. Um, it seems like this is stuck in there. Um, but anyways, it comes with these booklets. This this last um, season uh, season set. Uh, 
it has a documentary of Rod Serling and his life and all that that, that figured into his per personality. Uh, let me read this to you. It's, it's American Masters presents Rod Serling submitted for your approval. Imagine, if you will, a young boy with a monstrous imagination, a lad whose fascination with sci-fi magazines and high school drama kindled a spark of genius, a spark that would ignite into one of the brightest creative minds of the century, a young boy better known as Rod Serling. Follow along as Serling himself recounts his youth and shares his memories of being a young soldier just out of high school. Watch and listen as he relives his experience as a struggling young writer and be there when he leaps to national prominence. Learn the fascinating story of how television's most esteemed and popular writer outwitted stifling sponsor censorship by creating a series devoted entirely to fantasy stories. This was, of course, The Twilight Zone. While the censors looked elsewhere, Serling skillfully wrote fanciful tales that dealt with controversial issues of the, of the day, tales that became legend. Extensive interviews with key figures such as John Frankenheimer, Jack Klugman, Kim Hunter, and Buck, ba Buck Houghton provide a detailed portrait of the, most, of the man whose innovative work changed the course of television history. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of good episodes in Twilight Zone. Um, like right there, Night Nightmare at 20,000 Feet with William Chatner, um, where he's seeing this goblin appearing on the edge of it. He's on a plane, and he's looking outside the plane, and he sees the goblin, and, and they think he's just nuts, you know. Uh, there's one with Leonard Nimoy, where he... This is where I'm talking about, like, the racism issue. He, he's, he, he thinks the Japanese are bad and all that kind of stuff. And then at a certain point in the, in the show, he's Japanese and he's captured by the Americans. So, so it's, it's, he always liked to do those twist endings in his movie, in his television shows. Um, let's see. Um Five characters in search of an exit. That's this guy. He finds himself with these people, that are like a clown and a ballerina and a soldier, and he's in this um, hole, and uh, he wants to get out of there, and, and they don't really understand why he wants to get out. And then you find out he they're toys, and they're in a they're in a bucket, and there's a like a, a Salvation Army guy ringing a bell. You know that that's like one of them. But it's these really uh, twists, these twists I love. Um, there's one where the, there's this guy, he wakes up one day, looks at his wife, and his wife doesn't recognize him. She thinks he's a stranger. He uh, leaves his house. Um, he goes to see his bartender. The bartender says he, he doesn't know him. So then he goes, then, then he's, He's he's caught, he's um, put into a psych ward. He escapes. He goes to the town records office to find a photo of himself to prove that it's him. So he he takes a photo. He gives it to the psychiatrist, and there's nothing on the on the on the photo. You know, so it's those kind of twists. And then he it turns out he was dreaming all along, and. Um, his, when his wife gets out of bed, he is she's not the same woman. So it's those kinds of twists, you know. The um, I'm trying to track down some other ones of these. Um, let's see. Uh, the Serve Man. That's our that starred Richard Keel. Um, he was Jaws in the, the two James Bond movies, Spy, Love Me, and Moonraker. Um, he plays an alien in that. Um, and to serve man is not quite what it means. It's um, they've come to the Earth, the planet Earth. These aliens to they they need um, help with their planet, and they're going to take people to their planet for for tours. But they have a really ulterior motive, and the title is is basically what 
there's a book they have called To Serve Man. So I bet you can clue in on what that means. Um, little Girl Lost, I think it's about a young girl. She goes under her bed and all of a sudden she's in another dimension because she goes through the wall. There's a Simpsons episode where Homer, um, uh, he walks into a wall of this house and he's in another dimension. And of course that's ripped right out of Twilight Zone. I don't know if ripped is the right word. Paid homage to, homage, homage to, um, the little people. This is about um, two astronauts, and one astronaut finds a tiny civilization on this planet, and he starts. He 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 he's like a tyrant. He 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 puts his foot down and destroys uh, all these tiny people's buildings and and the people themselves and their vehicles. And then when his other astronaut has left and he decides to stay on the planet, there's these bigger men than he is that kill him. So it's those ironies that he had, that are there in this film, uh, shows. Um, the dummy, no, no, the dummies that, I, I can't remember the dummy that, well, I was thinking of the one with uh, Telly Savalas where um, this girl's doll is, is, uh, uh, terrorizing him um, so but yeah a lot of famous actors appearing like I said Robert Redford Jack Klugman um, you had William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy um, yeah so Carol Burnett was in one um, let's see let's look at some of, the, some of these other ones um I, the Beholder, one of the great ones, where this is this woman, she's wrapped up in bandages, and um, you you don't see the doctors or the nurses, they're in silhouette, and then when you they take the bandages off of her, you have to wonder who's really the beautiful ones and who are the ugly ones, because you see both of them, and your expectations get um, twist, you know, they... they turn the other way because you, you're thinking, oh, this woman is, is ugly. So they're making her trying to try to make it look more beautiful. And that's why they're doing facial surgery on her. Um, anyways, there's a twist in that. Um, and, and you probably, a lot of people probably know about that because that's a pretty famous episode. Um, what else do we have? I'm looking for the ones I, I the episodes I really like. There's a, there's a few episodes um, they were made that I don't really care about, like um, Hocus Pocus and Frisbee. I didn't care for that one. I, I thought, but I think it, I think it might have been because the um, he is pressured, or his writers were pe pressured to write um, an episode every week. So sometimes, just not most of the time, but. If, Every now and then, it'd be a lame episode, you know. But most of these episodes were very good. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Perchance to Dream. I, I think that's the one where Burgess Meredith, um, he likes to he likes to read books. And his, his wife doesn't like him reading. And his, and his boss at the bank doesn't like him reading. So during his lunch break, he goes back. He goes down into the basement, into the bank vault. He closes the door. He gets out of, uh, out of the bank vault. He walks upstairs. There's a nu nuclear apocalypse. Everybody's dead except for him. And he, he finds a library, and he finds all these books he can read during the rest of his life. And he doesn't have to worry about food because there's plenty of canned food that he can eat. But he wears glasses, and his glasses fall off of his face, and they break. And <laughs> there's the irony in that one. Um Let's see what else do we got here. I'm just I'm just picking ones. Um, let's stop at Willoughby. It's a this man. He um, he gets off the train at, at this like idyllic place that's like early 20th century, tur turn of the century, 20th century, and everything's nice and peaceful, and there's no pressure and. Um, and it turns out it's, he's he's been hallucinating or he's dead or something and he's not really on the train. I can't remember exactly how that goes. 
but that's a good episode. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, let's see. Oh, people are like all over. Um, Rodney McDowell um, and um, I can't, I don't know the other guy. They're astronauts, they land on Mars. Um, and <clears throat> um, they say, we'll fix your ship for you. Come with us. We'll take you to a place where you can rest tonight. So they take him to a house, just like a house would be on the planet Earth. And they say, we'll be back later. So they, and there's a, um, um, there's a curtain in, in the living room. And he tr tries to walk out the main door. And there's a wall in front of it. He opens a curtain and he finds bars. And then he sees a sign that says uh, habitat of a of a of a earthling or habitat of a human being on earth or whatever. That's a twist, you know, and all these Martians. We, I know it, it it doesn't look like um, you know, today's kind of the the special effects are kind of cheesy to some effect, but um the, the Martians look just like they just like he, he does. Um and they talk to him, but maybe they look like something else, and he's just they're just mind controlling him and making him think that they look like human beings. But, anyways, that, that's another one of the episodes. Um, the monsters are due on Maple Street. Um, that could be maybe that's that's uh, commenting on the communist scare, you know, McCarthyism, you know, because neighbors are are are. Um, accusing other neighbors of things and these aliens that observe from a distance, they're saying we don't have to do anything about, you know, getting these uh, earthlings to destroy themselves. They, they'll do it just by themselves, you know? Um, so third from the sun, excellent. Show, uh, another excellent one. I think it was Rod Serling's very favorite episode that he did. Um, you see about these um, family, they um, they want to escape their planet because their planet's going to go maybe explode or get destroyed or something. And and there's weird pieces of furniture, so you're thinking it's Earth. And then they get in there, they get into a flying saucer, which you find kind of weird. But then as they're in space, they say, we're, we're going to that that third planet from the sun there, it's a planet called Earth, you know, so there's another ironic, I, I know I'm giving this away. Um, I'm sorry if I am. I, I think a lot of people have seen these. Um, what else do we have here? Um, that's the first season. Um, and I talked about uh, let's see. The, oh, yeah, I talked about that one. Um, there's one with uh, Agnes Moorhead. She was, um, um, what's her name? Um, Orson Welles, uh, Citizen Kane. Uh, she she was um, uh, Kane's mother, um, and um, she stars as an old woman in this like rural farmhouse area. And there's these little there's this little flying saucer that lands on a roof, and it turns out that the small astronauts are actually Ameri American astronauts landing on another planet. So it's those kinds of things. It's, it's those kind of weird things that, that um, this this these shows are about. You know these twist endings. Um, so season four, season four is basically the worst. It's not really that that great. And then we got the fifth. Uh, Number twelve looks just like you. They 
they talk about Dostoevsky and that they talk about like they want everybody to look beautiful and, and nobody to look old or ugly or whatever, but they don't know that's what makes life unique and that if everybody was the same, it'd be a boring world. That's the point of that one, I think. Uh, the mask, this like vain family. Um, and maybe they want money or something. They want to inherit money, but they had to put these masks on before they can do that. They take the masks off and their faces are all different. So, and that's like a representation of their, their, their low personality, their, their low, their just inferiority, you know, their, their, just that they're greedy and they don't, they're, they're not caring people, you know, um, It was another one I saw in here, but I can't uh, figure out where it is. The last episode of The Twilight Zone that was shown is called The Bewitching Pool. As these young um, kids, they go into the swimming pool, they go under the water, and then they come out into this other world, sort of like a Tom Sawyer type world. Um, and I think they go back to where they usually live and then they go back again and they stay, you know, so but um yeah that was the last one of the last episode. Um so th this is a really good television show. If you want to invest in a in a good show to uh, watch then the Twilight Zone is one of those shows. Um anyways um I think it's going to be the end of this video. Um, I um, um, anyways, I, I don't know if I have any more to say about this. Um, I think I've I think I've I've said enough. Um, I probably missed a few episodes. I, I know I have missed a ton of episodes, but there's there's many more. Um, you know that. Robert Duvall stars, stars in another one where he's, he visits this museum during work and then he becomes part of the Dow House that he's watching. He, he he gets incorporated into that environment. So, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe this wasn't the greatest video that I've done so far. Um, um, I wasn't... Maybe I was pausing too much or whatever. Um, anyways... That's that's the Twilight Zone uh, box set for you. So now after that, we're going to get into Samuel Fuller. We're going to get into Rome, the television show. Uh, we're getting into Alejandro Jodorowsky box set. Uh, James Cameron. I forgot that there's the Sin City box set, so we'll get into that. And then the two greatest films, according to me, of the 21st century. So look, at, be on the lookout for that. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the watches. Um, you know, um, anyways, just, uh, pick, pick and choose which ones you watch because, you know, there's a lot of stuff to look at and there's my poetry and my garage band stuff and hits would be appreciated on, on garage band or poems or, uh, my short film, Cost of Love, number three, my storyboard for it, or the film, the, the short film I made for film digital filmmaking class, Dirty Dog. But I, I appreciate all the wa all the watches for the um, DVD and Blu-ray collection. I, I really appreciate everybody watching, leaving comments. Um, it's just... Um, it's just wonderful. It makes me feel good. And um, anyways, uh, so I'll, I'll see you soon. And uh, keep 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 looking. I'm gonna try to do this on a fairly regular basis. I think. Um, I think after I finish the DVDs, I'm, I'm gonna try and read some poetry. Maybe make some film film kind of poetry. Maybe some sometimes like with images, music, sound effects, or and or I'll just read them and you'll just see me read the poem and I'll just you'll just see the camera on me 
so that I could be doing that too. Um, and uh, maybe I'll, I don't know if when I'll do more garage band stuff, but maybe at, at a certain point I will. I, I've also thought of showing at least one of my garage band uh, graphs, you know, so you can look at the actual instruments and, and, and um, lines and, you know, all, all that on the tel on the comp computer screen. And I would, I would shoot that with my iPhone so you could see what that looks like. I was going to, I was going to do that with Seeds of Promise, but I, I haven't done that. I mean, I shot some footage of that, but um, I don't know if I, I don't know if it's still on my phone or not, but anyways, that that's a video and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. And um, hopefully Samuel Fuller is going to be the next one. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon. Thanks.